Hey there, it's Dr. Guerrero. I just wanted to run through the topics and the content for the week two anatomy 260 quiz. So all of our focus this week is on the skeletal system. Um, and so I've kind of divided up the quiz to kind of put things together for you. So just to begin with, be familiar with the functions of the skeletal system. There's multiple functions, the organs that are contained within the func uh, skeletal system and the divisions of the skeletal system axial and appendicular. Okay, the bones that I would focus on for this quiz and bone markings. So the lateral medial malleolus, sorry, medial malleolus, the fibula and tibia, calcaneus, ethmoid bone, nasal septum, the superior nasal conch, maxilla, the sphenoid bone, the vomer, the cranial sutures. So um, there were there are four of them, so I put them all there. Um, I feel like I'm missing one right there. I am probably am, but anyways, foramen magnum, the ulna, radius, scapula, humerus, clavicle, ulcranin, the trochlea, the glenoid cavity, zygomatic bone, occipital bone, parietal bone, and temporal bone. Okay, those are the bones to focus on for this quiz. So I'm gonna show you this again and get a screenshot of that or pause it so you can type it. And then add parietal and temporal bone. The next topic, I divided it to bone cytology. So cytology is the study of cells. So bone cells, the osteon, the osteocyte, osteoclast, osteoblast, osteoprogenitor cells, and the lacuna. So these are all on bone cytology. So bone cells. Then I divided the topics of bone histology, which is Histology is the study of tissue and bone itself is a connective tissue. So we learned that during week one. So the epiphyseal plate versus the epiphyseal line, know the difference between the two. The diaphysis, epiphysis, metaphysis, articular cartilage, trabeculae, yellow marrow. I need to put red marrow, I apologize. Spongy bone the Sharpie's fibers, my, mylohyoid, the cornoid process, the mental foramen, hypoglossal canal, the mandibular foramen, fibrocartilage, hyaline cartilage, dense fibrous connective tissue, and lamellar bone. Just make sure that you're familiar with each of these and that you can explain where they are, or what their function is. All right, and the last topic for the quiz is application. So these are terms that when I was going through the quiz, I couldn't really find a place uh, within cytology, histology, or the bones that they actually belonged. So I put an application section. So scoliosis, swayback, lordosis, kyphosis, the pelvic girdle, pectoral girdle, the hypothalamus. So um, the hypothalamus in this section is used for endocrine control and endocrine is hormones. Okay, and I know we haven't gotten to that section yet, but um, I just wanted to make sure that you got into, sorry, uh, you understood why the hypothalamus was being brought up here. The hormones that you need to be associating or um, with the bones are calcitonin and parathyroid hormone. You need to be familiar with the cell tertia and the location of the sinuses. So sinuses, if you listen to the lecture, are holes in your skull to make them lighter. And so when you have a sinus infection, it is referring to these, but there are multiple sinuses. So know the location of each, like what their name is and where they're located, all right? I'm gonna show that there so you can pause and get those terms. Okay. 
Okay, here's on histology. And cytology. All right, don't forget to email me uh, or message me with any questions that you have, okay? I hope you have a great week and do well studying.